Hi, my name is Sally Gimmon, and I'm the owner of the trustisyou.com in a podcast called Stop Paying Capital Gains. Now, now on September 12th, I am going to do a new speech called Save Federal Taxes Illegally. Between now and then, I'm going to do a presentation every single day of another way of how the Spendthrift Trust saves you money. Today, it's my second property in the trust uh, after I bought it. Now, most people have never heard of a Spendthrift Trust. It is legal. It is patented. It's in the IRS tax code 643B like Bravo. It's going to save you three very important ways. Number one, it's going to save you federal taxes year after year, generation after generation. Number two, it's going to keep your information 100% private. Most people think their LLC, S Corp or C Corp will do this. Unfortunately, that's not true. S Corps and LLCs are statutory law. Every state is different. And if I do a Freedom of Information Act to either the Secretary of State or to the Corporation Commission, I can get all your information. Sorry to tell you the truth. And number three, probably the most important, because you will pay no judgments if you get sued. I can't stop you from being sued, but they'll sue the individual. They cannot sue the trust. So three very important things to know about. Now, a little bit of history about the Spendthrift Trust. This is not your mom and dad's trust. 97% of the trusts sold in the United States, what Susie Orman talks about on PBS television, my mom and dad had, is a family trust. That is, they are the grantor, it avoids going through probate, and then it dissolves. This is not your mom and dad's trust. This trust is the same trust the Rockefellers, the DuPonts, the Carnegies, the Kennedys, and U.S. presidents have. You should be listening to them because they make lots of money. Now, this trust started way back. You all Google this yourself, but when King Henry VIII got in trouble for chopping off his wives' heads, he started the Church of England. Go figure, start a new church when you get in trouble. I wish I could do that. So he started the Church of England, and he went to go tax the lords and ladies of England. The lords and ladies went further back into history to the Magna Carta, saying, no, 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 King Henry VIII, you can't do this. It came over from England as contract law to the colonies while we were still a colony of, you know, of Britain. The law firm I work on behalf of has inherited a trust that's turning 350 years old in 2023. This is as legal as legal can be. Again, most people do not know that the U.S. tax code was only put into effect in 2000, sorry, 1913, um, because it was supposed to be a six-year uh, temporary tax while we were getting ready to go into World War I. Well, the rich families back then, the, the Rockefellers and everybody else, put it into the tax code, they don't have to pay taxes. I found out about this back in July of 2020 when I took down a deal in my real estate group for $20,000 that would go to auction for $50,000. COVID struck and I had 13 months to figure things out. Well, this property, I'm gonna show you right now. This property was a note I bought way back in April of 2019. They only made two payments. Actually, they made four payments. Two of their payments, their checks bounced, and I had to pay the, the bounce on it. So I had done everything in my power to uh, do, it's called a forfeiture in Tennessee. We were literally 17 hours away from kicking them out of the house when COVID struck. They got to live for another 13 months rent-free. Ooh, I was not a happy human being. This is going to be my first uh, forfeiture or foreclosure, and I had made a promise to my mom that I would not do anything because she lost her house when she was six years old in Ireland. She knew about this uh, uh, the, this husband and wife, and she and she's like, get their dupas out of there. So I got permission to, for, uh, to do the forfeiture. So I had to wait until August 13th, 2021. We got a, I got a court date in uh, uh, Memphis, Tennessee, and then I sold it on Monday, August 16th. I bought the note for $15,400. We had to get the family signed uh, a land grant because I only had the paper on the house. They signed the land grant and we sold it to the brother for $31,000. I made after, I don't know how many months, to, uh, April 2019 to August of 2021. That's quite some time, but I made $15,600. Uh, that's considered short-term capital gains because it's the time of the sale. And because I put it into my trust, I got to save $3,744 in short-term capital gains. I did have to do two simple bill of sales. One bill of sale from my LLC to my name personally, second bill of sale from my name to the trust, go to the bank, get them both notarized, 
send them to the processor uh, that they they actually were in uh, Illinois, send them to the processor, oh, go to the bank, get them notarized, exchange um, uh, consideration. I exchanged $10 on the first uh, but bill of sale. She gave me the $10 back. Send them to the processor in Chicago. She uh, The processor changed everything over. So when the sale happened, my trust was paid. Again, not a huge amount of money, but it keeps adding up over and over and over again. $3,744. Now there are seven layers, seven layers from 10% to 37% for your tax bracket. I, you'll have to tell me what that is. And there's four ways to file. I'm single, uh, no children. There's a uh, head of household. There's fi uh, married filing jointly, or there's uh, married filing separately. Again, if I can help you save federal taxes, the business trust is for 1099 income earners. You will save at least 70% on your federal taxes year after year, generation after generation. Amazing thing. If you are a real estate investor, uh, you're going to stop paying short-term capital gains, long-term capital gains, interest income, dividend income, rental income, and royalties year after year, generation after generation. There is uh, the, the charitable trust, uh, a charitable trust where you can get Google ads, and finally, there is a tr uh, the trust, a senior trust for people who are on Medicare. If I can help you save federal taxes and leave a legacy for your family and keep your information 100% private and pay no judgments, my website, thetrustisyou.com, my podcast, Stop Paying Capital Gains Now, because that's why I start the trust, paying too much in capital gains. And my name is Sally Gimmon. Thank you for watching my video. Have a wonderful Monday. Take care.